Hey, I'm Allie with The Culture Project, and today I'm going to share a little bit about my brother Sam, who has Down syndrome. On August 10th, 2005, my sixth little brother was born. August 11th, 2005, my family was told he had Down syndrome. At the age of 12, I had no idea what this meant. Due to this, I assumed he would never be able to talk, walk, or laugh. When I went to the hospital, I was nervous and I didn't know what to expect when I would see Sam for the first time. I was surprised that when the nurse placed him in my arms, he looked just like my other five younger brothers before him. Sure, his cheeks were a little more round, there was a large crease in his hand, and he had to have some oxygen to help him breathe. But just solely looking on the outside, he was so small, sweet, and innocent, just like my other brothers before him. A few days later, when Sam was getting ready to leave the hospital, the doctors told my brothers and I two things I'll always remember. One, you will have to teach Sam some things in life that have come more naturally to you. Two, you will love Sam so much. Be careful not to spoil him. As time moved on and Sam grew bigger, my brothers and I quickly learned what the doctors meant about how much we would love Sam. Even to this day, we still compete for Sam's attention. We constantly just want to be around his joy, jokes, and his very unique Sam personality. When it came to teaching Sam the things that came easier to us, we were in for another surprise. While teaching him how to chew his food or how to brush his teeth did take longer than a typically developing child, in a way he was actually teaching us. Sam has taught us how to be there for one another. This past summer, my younger brother, Sean, had to have his wisdom teeth removed. While Sean was recovering, his mouth was sore and he was in a great deal of pain. Sam recognized this and refused to leave Sean's side. He would even hold Sean's hand if he had to walk around the house. Sam would rub his back and constantly ask him, you okay, bro? Sam even tried to sleep in Sean's room to give him comfort. Sam has taught us to find joy in the little things. Even when blowing out his birthday candles, it brings him so much joy. It's as if he just won a gold medal. Sam has taught us not to take ourselves so seriously, like how he has created a favorite family pastime of turning on loud music to get everyone to dance like a goofball while we do the dishes as a family. I know this isn't just Sam who teaches people these things, but all people with Down syndrome. Anyone who knows or is fortunate enough to have a Down child is an extremely blessed person. People with Down syndrome do not suffer from it. They simply have an extra chromosome, the extra chromosome that exudes their love and compassion for other people. They might not be typically developed, but they are very much developed. As for my family and I, we believe that people who have Down syndrome are more developed with the most important things in life, more than that typically developed person. I challenge you to look at your own life and see where you could show some extra patience or love with the people around you, or even how to find joy in the small mundane things. I know I will look towards my little brother for help on this. Thank you so much for watching. Click here to subscribe and here to watch more videos.